Okay, the next step, I've put the traces, printed the traces to a magazine paper. I've cut out close to the trace so that when I, because I'm going to have to turn it over and I want to be able to tell where the trace is on the page. That way I know where to apply the heat. So I've got it there. I bought this iron specifically for applying traces to copper. It has no steam function, so there's not the little oval openings around the toe of the, the iron. And I'm running it at a wool setting, so not as hot as it'll go. If you heat it too hot, the toner will turn liquid and it spreads, and then your traces will interconnect, and then you'll have to do a bunch of cleanup. So you want the trace, you want the toner to turn to a plastic state between solid and liquid. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to place the iron right down on there, and we're going to let that sit for a minute. Now I tested the iron earlier by setting it on a piece of paper and watching what area turned brown first, so I could get an idea of what the hottest part of the iron was and where my heat distribution was and it's hottest in the front part, in the toe of the iron. So it's an iron, it's definitely hot at the back, but the hottest part of it is up at the front. We're gonna let it go for about another 30 seconds. What we're doing is we wanna start to get contact there, and then once, we're, once we've got some adhesion, we wanna work our way around the outside of the trace. Uh, my experiments showed that I had the most trouble getting adhesion around the outside. The center generally worked okay, but those, it was those few extra traces around the outside that never seemed to adhere. So now that we've let that go, what we're going to do is we're going to use the toe, the front, and I'm going to make sure, now I'm making sure that that's in good contact with the copper there, because if you turn loose, it, it leans back and lifts it up. So that's not what we want for about 15 seconds. And then I'm going to lift, and I'm going to move it over. Now I shifted a little bit. You want to avoid that, because if you move the iron while the toner is soft, you risk smearing it or repositioning the traces, and that repositioning the traces will totally destroy the, the whole purpose. If it doesn't work out, print it again, you use acetone to wipe the toner off the board, then you sand it again, wipe it with alcohol, and start over. It's not the end of the world. Because I've been working on, I was experimenting to try to find the, the most efficient, best way possible. I printed 12 traces to a single page, so I had 12 tries. I've gone through the first page, and I'm part way into the second one. I found some ways that work really well. I found a lot of ways that didn't work so well. We've made almost a complete rotation around. 10 or 15 seconds in a position. We should have pretty good adhesion. I'm looking for bubbles, because if there's bubbles then where the paper is bubbled up, then if there's a trace under there, then it wouldn't have been pressed down flat. I don't see any bubbles at all in the paper. It all looks like it's flat. That's a good sign. We're going to let that sit and cool because I'm going to take it on faith that that's probably warm now.